welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about Virgo, how to attract them and all juicy details and relish for them. For all who are new here, hi, my name is Chris and this is Chris Astrology. On this channel we're talking about love, relationship, psychology, anagram and all other cool topics. If you're interested in a subject like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week so you'll never get bored. And so, let's get started! So, a burger got your attention. Okay, let me spill some tea. I should tell you one of their most important secrets. Virgos are very strict on everyone, but most of all, they are most strict on themselves. Yes, for example, more not romance related, but like work related. I once had a Virgo supervisor, and she was very strict on me. She was always giving me like feedback, she was always asking me to do more work when I thought I needed to, and she was like always making like some small comments on how I should correct my work even I thought my work was already good. But she was also very strict on herself. When I got to know her better, I found out that she came from a low income immigrant family. And she was a first generation student. Even more, after she graduated college, she got a double PhD. I don't know how in other countries, but in the United States, getting even one PhD is super difficult. So imagine getting double. You should be very smart and you should be very hardworking. And she was also very strict on how she works as well. So it's not surprising that she was very strict on us. Because she thought that she does the most best work she can, so we should do the same. So it's not surprising, but she just wanted to make us as successful as we could because she knew how to be a super busy and but you need to work hard to succeed. The same with Virgos in their dating life. If you ever date a Virgo, you should be one of the most smartest, one of the most beautiful, handsome, one of the most successful person in the room. The only settle down for the best. Virgo will never get married in 18 or 19 or even in early 20s, we would marry, only when it can benefit them. <laughs> no, I don't mean that they only get married for money. But often, Virgo needs somebody who could be a part of a power couple. They want to be the successful classic couple which walks in and everybody looks at them, but not like only a homo, like angry and more bright, but like Virgo just want to be more classy, more educational, but everybody wants to be them because of their education, style and success. They want to be the classiest couple in the world. And if you ever want to date them, you should be very clean. You should have a best hygiene. For example, Virgos can sometimes have casual sex, just to experiment, especially in a very young age. But we would never have one at stand with somebody whose smells gross, has uh, body hair which is messy, we have with somebody who is the most beautiful or handsome person in the room, even for one at stand. So if you want to be their partner with good looks, you should have also have the best personality. Virgos are very loyal and very strict on who they date. So they usually have low sex drive, and they can even be asexual, demisexual, because they want success in their relationship, not sexual urges, just more image conscious urges. Like being the brightest and most successful couple. But I think I said enough about it. Also, if Virgo is queer, not a lot of people will know about it. Because they will still have a more traditional family rules in their life. For example, even even gay or lesbian couple, one of the person will be more at work and the other more at home. They will probably still want to adopt kids. So probably they would never even have a gay aura. And most people will see them as more traditional and straight. Although some workers can be more open about it. But it also will be a more classy way. 
would probably be like an activist working with the government for LGBT rights or they can work with an HIV stand on like an HIV education program or maybe like transgender hormones resources so it should be something which gives them some success or they can even be a mother or a father in a chosen family because yes they can be open about being queer but we don't want to be allowed about it. They want to be to it to be in that way. But people will admire them for being one of the best verb role models. The best date for Burger is there's two types we would enjoy. First of them would be something classy, like going to the Euro vacation, having English tea, or maybe having Italian pasta, or maybe German sausages, or maybe going like something more local like art gallery, museum, or a concert. Not a punk or rock concert, but more like piano concert, flute concert, and a classical musical concert. Where can we be this rich and successful couple who knows everything and everybody looks at them and wants to be them? Or they can also prefer something which makes them relaxed, like you know, going to meditation or good couple yoga or maybe like spa salon with their partner so burgers a very high standard on their education and their appearance and they also work very very hard because they want to be the most successful person in the room and they will connect me to you only if you would be as hard working as they are i hope you enjoy the video I also want to make a quick announcement this weekend I opened my website you can see the link below and now I have my own website I have my blog and also I sell astrology and life coaching session I already sold several of them and uh, I'm, I my prices are pretty affordable so if you are interested in my work Please go to my website and look for some readings if you want to have a private session with me. I'm very serious about my work and you will receive your astrology report in 48 hours. So, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video where I will be talking about how to track the Libra. I'm also doing an Enneagram Enneagram. Uh, series where I will be talking about Enneagrams 2 and all juicy details about them. Thank you. I love the YouTube community. You're all wonderful people and have a wonderful day.